Hey everyone, it's Magenta Strongheart here at Supply Frames Design Lab, and I'm really excited to be talking to Mike Stitch, Editor-in-Chief of Hackaday, to talk about 2019's Hackaday Prize. Everyone knows the Hackaday Prize comes back every year, but they don't know what to expect. So this year we're really focusing on the phases of product development. So that's concept, design, production, benchmark, and finally communication. You already know how to build great things and put together items that are function as a prototype, and those are really what the concept and the design go towards. Right, exactly. Concept, we're really excited to see some original solutions to problems that you guys identify that you're excited to solve. Um, when it comes to design, we're talking about all things design. UX, UI, industrial design, your form factor, what materials are you bringing to the table. Um, and then we get into production, which is really about sort of design for manufacture and how are you going to apply those materials to um, a process that's really scalable. I think that's where people run afoul oftentimes with prototypes is they build something that just can't be manufactured. And a lot of time can be saved uh, from the redesign process if you think about that right at the start. Totally. And with, um, with some of the tools that are available for um, rapid prototyping, I think sometimes we get caught up in uh, making it with those tools. So we often, even at the design lab, we go through this phase of like, okay, we designed for manufacture at the lab, but now how do we design for you know, scalable processes um, that are going to be manufactured you know, in the thousands or more? Yeah, of course, if you're actually going to go and do production, you want to make sure when you get to the other side of it, people are going to love what you built. And so that's where the benchmark uh, really comes in this year. For benchmark, that's really when competitive analysis comes in. So who are your current competitors, future competitors, what's already on the market, and how is your solution different than what's already out there? When it comes to communication, we're looking at visual communication, assets, graphics, um, design, packaging, website, anything that helps you communicate what your product is about and how it's essential to your audience. Yeah, this is a huge part of developing a product because if you have the greatest idea in the world and nobody knows about it, where is it going to go? But also along the way, you might get really good feedback from the people that want the thing that you're building that drives you in a different direction or helps you get over a hurdle that you wouldn't have otherwise seen. This feels like a lot to unpack, but don't worry, we have your back through the entire run of the Hackaday Prize this year. And one of the things that I'm really excited about is this idea of mentorships throughout the Hackaday Prize. So we're gonna have opportunities for you to get on what is basically a global masterclass in product development with experts in the field. And you can talk about what you have in the Hackaday Prize right now and get feedback from people that have walked this path before and know where the sticking points are. One of the greatest things of the Hackaday community is if you run into a problem, chances are someone else has already solved it. So you can look around and form your engineering dream team on Hackaday IO. It's a great place to work collaboratively. We're basically creating a virtual incubator. And not only do you get access to this amazing community and network and opportunities, but you could win some huge prizes. We're giving $125,000 away to the best product and five $10,000 prizes to best of each phase. So that's $175,000 for the top six projects. But we're not stopping there. This year we have the return of seed funding. This is a way to get early validation on your projects, to get people to give you feedback, and to make a little bit of money to help with the startup costs. The way it works is the top 20 projects by likes can earn up to $500 each. It's $3 per like. So tell all your friends that you're working on a project and get them to follow along. Your experience in the 2019 Hackaday Prize will feel like higher education for product development. So be sure to get your projects in early so you can take advantage of these incredible resources.